Today, because court is just adjourned, and we understand that Mkhabat um, Lamini's pre-trial has been set to April next year. Of course, he's standing right here to tell us a little bit more about exactly how he's feeling. Mkhabat, thank you so much for your time. You how so are you much. feeling, and uh, how, is this, how, how has this process been for you? Well, uh, we feel very much strong. Like I've always been saying, I feel very strong like a buffalo pool. Uh, but uh, we are not deterred. Uh, we are not intimidated either. Uh, we will reiterate to say that the state doesn't have a case against me. And every time we come to court, those things are proven. Today we came for, for a pre-trial. But when we get here, we find that uh, the magistrate is now saying that uh, he can't continue with the matter because his term of office has elapsed. Meaning that uh, his end term of office ends in November. But he's the one who set the date for today. So it's part of those delaying tactics. And also that the, the prosecution keeps on pushing us into a plea bargain. I am not going to take any plea bargain. I wish that sinks to the prosecution's head. I am not going to admit any guilt. I am admitting nothing. I want to go to trial. And I don't want any way out where they drop the charges behind the scenes. I want them to drop them in court following processes. Because tomorrow, after 10 years, Afri Forum will bring these charges when I am running for something big. Thank you, Mkhaiba. Well, I'm going to speak to Nelson now, his lawyer, who's going to tell us a little bit more about the legal aspects of this case. Nelson, thank you so much for your time. What happened here exactly here today? Okay, you'll remember that uh, last time when you were here, uh, on the 20th of September, we had postponed this matter today for a pre-trial conference. And obviously, looking at the charges that he's facing, I think there are six charges that he's facing, obviously to assist the court in narrowing the trial to admit and not to admit certain things. However, when we came here today, we were informed by the state and the presiding officer that is unable to proceed with the pre-trial necessarily because his term ends in, in November. Therefore, when we go to trial, there will be another judge or another presiding officer to attend to the matter. So to agree in principle, we have agreed that uh, let's get a residing magistrate here uh, who's going to listen to our pre-trial and also be able to proceed with the, with the, with the trial itself. So the matter has been postponed for trial, for pre and trial on the 9th, 10th and 11th of April 2019. But one thing that we need to state is that uh, initially, before the 20th of September, we had returned, and after consultation with the state, we had returned to the NPA for a mediation. That the state must go and consult all the complainants and let's have a roundtable discussion and see how we can resolve this matter. We had received a response from the NPA on the 5th of October, a one-sentence letter that says that your application for mediation has been rejected. No reasons were given as why mediation was rejected. So therefore we're going to take it to, our, to them to say, listen, we demand reasons why our mediation was, re was rejected, failing which we'll have to go to the High Court for a review application. We need to get reasons why our mediation was, was, was rejected. But we have already stated in court that we are ready for a trial. And we have appointed Advocate Kwembeka and Toby who will be proceeding with trial. So therefore, the reason why we've postponed is because the presiding officer is not around to hear us. Okay, Mkabe, just, just lastly, from my side, um, 2019 political ambitions? Well, uh, 2019 political ambitions is that uh, the ANC, led by President Cyril Ramaphosa, the Buffalo, must uh, retain power and lead uh, to the complete of uh, the struggle of self-determination of, uh, of, of the masses of our people. My role as a, a youth activist is to ensure that the interests and aspirations of young people uh, 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 are given attention and to its fullest. I am a youth activist, the voice of the voiceless, representing the poor of the masses of our people. And uh, well, uh, young people have lobbied me to say uh, we think you have what it takes to lead the, the biggest uh, youth formation. Uh, in Africa, the Congress Youth, and I am available and I am contesting. Uh, no uh, amount of uh, insults and smear campaign is going to deter us because uh, politics is a calling. And we understand that when you shake a certain status quo, like we are going to be shaking this status quo of uh, a youth formation that is not grounded with the masses, a youth formation that has distanced itself from the struggles of young people, then those who have commodified the, the league will fight, but we are ready uh, for, for, for whatever Beckley. Uh, mine is to say, be ready for Beckley, because uh, we are ready for Beckley.
And of course, that was Mkabo Dlamini, FISMA's full activist, saying that he's ready for any battle. Of course, also mentioning the fact that he feels that uh, there are delay tactics of you being used rather by the court in making sure that uh, his pre date, his pre trial dates rather, are being moved forward and forward and forward. And of course, he says he's, str he's as strong as an ox and that he's not deterred by the alleged uh, delay tactics that, that uh, is being used by the courts. So, of course, we'll keep you updated on any more new development. But for now, it is back to you in studio. Yeah, Mtebo speaking a lot about buffaloes this morning, saying he feels strong like a buffalo bull. And, uh, you know, his case has been remanded till the April 2019, but he's calling it delaying tactics, and he says he won't take a plea bargain. Lupang Alamo in Johannesburg. Thank you very much indeed for your reporting.